Hi everyone, so welcome to another studio vlog and this is another convention uh, studio vlog because this weekend I'm headed to Scotland, Glasgow to be more specific, for um, the Comic Con there, the ACME Comic Con and I'm very excited. I'm going to be doing two live event stage things this weekend, so yeah it's going to be a very busy packed weekend and today is the day before we go, so I've got a lot of things to organize, pack, and lots of sticker packs to um, put into their little baggies and basically get everything ready so I can pack up for tomorrow. And I actually have been meaning to do something with all of the like B-grade items that I've had lying around that I don't really know what to do with them and I can't be asked to like list them on the shop as a separate listing so what I thought I would do is actually put them together into little like b-grade packets like mystery packets and then people can buy them for like one or two pounds and get like a mystery set of items that are b-grades so I'm going to be doing that with some leftover prints from patreon b-grade stickers and also some a lot of b-grade bookmarks that i got in the mail that were restocks of these little holographic ones here i'm gonna be doing that right now i'm excited and i also have to obviously design a little sticker to put on them saying what you get in each i'm thinking of putting two a6 prints two stickers and a bookmark in each of them um because that way i'll be able to get rid of lots of these in one go and I ran up and down several flights of stairs. <laughs>
as many as you can fit on there because the weight will be good. Mm -hmm. Well yeah, as many as you think look good. I trust you.
trying to make cinema here. So the table's all set up. It's missing a few bits and bobs, um, just like signs and stuff uh, here and there that I'm just going to do when I get to the hotel room and then I'll bring him in tomorrow morning and just put him on real quick. But yeah, all done. Say hello. So, it's all set up for today. I put up all the uh, missing bits and bobs, um, which is basically these signs just around here so that people know that they can flip through the books. Um, some more missing price tags and sorting out the loose sticker display here so that people can kind of see the, the, the stickers because I feel like with these acrylic stands people don't really get to see the full stickers very well so yeah I just wanted to do a little stand so people could see them properly and yeah it's all here The general shape that I would take away from this is this kind of toothy shape right here, like that. And usually when people are smiling quite widely like this, their eyes are usually closed and they've got like really scrunched up eyes to the middle. And that will kind of make it a bit more of a, a joyous expression. 
the eyebrows are a very big teller of an emotion, so if you really want to rum it home that your character is really happy, you really want to ham it up with the eyebrows because that will really tell you how the character is feeling. And the lips down here. Um, as you probably noticed, I didn't really add much of a cupid's bow or any shape to the lips because when face is smiling, obviously it stretches out the lips. There's not really much of a hint of any shape on top of the lips, so that's why I did that. And yeah, I'm sort of really happy with the oh. That was a test. Um, I was going to finish that. <laughs> so I'm going to base color and kind of slide it down here so I can get a darker but still quite saturated version of that color so you don't want to go straight down on the color wheel because it'll just desaturate that color uh, you want to go from here all the way down here you want to keep on this axis really so not on this layer <laughs> back on our skin tone layer and uh put that in a quick tip with um, the colors in digital art if you can color pick and same color a few times it creates like a really nice cohesion within the piece and it creates like a more concrete color palette so I use the same color of the hair for the eyes just because it's a very simple portrait and reusing the same colors or small variants of the same color creates a really cohesive color palette so I usually like to color pick and not stray that much from those colors and add some shadow to the hair just to make it look a little bit more finished. So I alpha lock that layer like I did with the skin tone, the skin layer. So I'll alpha lock it so I can use a really big brush to add shadows without worrying about going out of the, the lines. <laughs> and adding shadows up here. to also every once in a while zoom out and look at it quite far quite far away because when you're looking at it so in close detail sometimes the details get lost on you and I just noticed noticed that one of the irises was a bit um, and a bit slower as well so yeah thank you so much for coming and watching me draw <laughs> Have a nice day. 
egg. Sorry? You're having a nice egg. Tired, but we're getting there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, I was gonna say meetup. I wanted to make sure because we're currently watching. I'm, well, he's making me watch it, and I and I was like, it is it's very good. Yeah, it's very good.
Hi, as you can tell I'm back home now and I just wanted to close off the studio vlog with like a little summary of the weekend. It was very, very lovely and definitely went a lot better than the last one. <laughs> but I do think that being a guest also kind of helped a lot. I did do two live events during this weekend, which I wasn't aware of. I thought I was only gonna do one. It turns out I was gonna do two and it was a little bit much for me. I think I, I won't be doing that many live stage events in the future in one go just because i got very easily overwhelmed during this weekend for some reason i don't know why i just did yeah i think in the future i might just maybe maximum stick to one not to say that the live events didn't go well they went really well and i was really proud of myself and i, I yeah i think i they, they went quite well considering how nervous i was of course i wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who came and said hello it was so so lovely i got the chance to meet lots of you that i hadn't met at other cons yet and also do some really cool art trades with some of the people in the artist alley that were my followers and i was, it was just such a cute like wholesome weekend thank you so much if you came to say hi came to my table um and even if you didn't buy anything that was it was just really really nice and it was really cool to see a bit of glasgow as well and like noted we didn't get to see much of it because we were busy all weekend but uh at least the drive up was really nice to scotland so and i also got tons of inspiration for the next con in terms of things to do on my table so i'm gonna definitely look into those for mcm in london next month and probably get some cool new things to display things on my table the, yeah the artist alley at this event was amazing it was so big so packed with amazing artists and i don't think i even managed to like look at every single stall whenever i got a moment to walk like walk around but yeah it was really, really good. Um, I will probably be coming back. Yeah, thank you so much, Acme, for having me as a guest at this Comic-Con and for being so, so lovely and just being so supportive and, and yeah, and helping me with any issues I had, so. But yeah, it was a really nice experience, so I am very happy. <laughs> and yeah, my shop is now open again. I usually close it when I'm over at cons, so it is now back open for business. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this studio vlog and coming along with me to this con and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye